G'day, I'm Adam Huskus. No, wait. I didn't used to play for the Sydney Swans or Port Adelaide. I'm Alex Donnelly. I'm very depressed. I'm another year older and everything hurts. Welcome to the AFL Today Show, your new favourite one-stop shop for the greatest game in the world, Australian Rules of Football. Joining me... Oh, God, round 21 is done. Finals are coming. This is... It's sad because footy's nearly not back because it's nearly over. Joining me over there, he's sad. Shockingly, not because of Hawthorne lost, because of every other result this weekend is Leo Malali. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very sad, Alex. So Hawthorne weren't the better team today, so I can accept that one. A few other results not making me happy, though. And there is a small, diminutive small. gentleman oh, beside hey. me. Don't take he's it. Excited <laughs> right now. North Melbourne won, but no one cares about that. It's the stats guy. Liam I can't. I'm the only one bringing North. energy to this Come show. On. Come on, North. Come on, North. Leo was there. He was a uh, proud North. Oh, yeah, I had yesterday. a North scarf on. I, I respect that. North, yeah. I respect that. Uh, very sad I couldn't get to the game yesterday, but that absolutely fake, pumped. Fake fan. I was that, playing footy. I was playing footy. That result might have cursed the weekend. Well, North the whole winning. Week, the whole weekend, just as a neutral fan, North winning. My team doesn't. I don't have to worry about them making finals. The whole weekend in total was just awesome. There was just it was crazy. Awesome is a word. Awesome. There were so many close results. So many shock results. I just loved it. Anyway, I'm subscribe to our agent. YouTube channel. Follow <laughs> AFL Today on socials as well. Give us a like, a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Also, make sure you check out Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X on Facebook Sports Today Show. Aussie is Rules Today. Under. Aussie Rules Today. We've changed yes. names. Thanks to the social guy, Leo, on for Facebook, letting me know yep. pre-show. Anyway, <laughs> also five stars and a review on the podcast channels. That would be great, please. And thank you. Can you smell it? Because footy's back. <laughs> as is the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. No, wait, that's my wrestling podcast. <laughs> anyway. Quick look from the weekend. The Western Bulldogs started off the weekend in scintillating fashion. Could have won by 330 points they if they should kicked have. straight. Oh, my God. Yeah. They, yeah. they just look so – they're the most consistent. Team. They're in Brisbane just absolutely rolling at the moment. Jamara, two goals, six. I know. What is he doing? <laughs> As oh. someone who backed him to kick four, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. just crazy. The dogs look really good. And the retro kid as well, yeah. which we'll touch so, on. Stay as Footscray. Keep calling yourself <laughs> Footscray. Continue to be Footscray. Continue with the collars on the Guernseys. It works. Stephen May fractured his ribs once again. Second time this year. Same place as where he hurt himself earlier this year. Mate, I know you like hurting yourself and putting <laughs> yourself through pain. It's like, what is it? Sadio mechanism or whatever it's called? No, I've butchered I, the saying of that. No idea I've got no idea. It's like when you like hurting yourself over and over oh, again. Oh, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, well, I don't think he likes hurting his ribs, but he does get into the lot. Did him yeah. and Lever get into a very intense argument? I don't know. Well, they love their At little... Cot, maybe. I don't know. No, no they, they love it on field. You just yeah. cut to them. They're always fighting, having a little tiff. They, they are, tiff. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Degawi pinged a hammy in a big, big way. He's yeah. done for the year. They were like, him... after the game, oh, this is just a strain, and then I just saw it's 10 to 12 weeks out. So, yeah, so that is brutal that's for the That's the I did say during the week, I was like, his body is cooked. There is no way he's fit, and he's pinged a hammy straight away. Therefore, not fit. Collingwood won Scott Pendlebury's 400th in amazing fashion. That the was insane. to that game was great. Also, Collingwood fans and Carlton fans, Fake fans. Dusty got more players, sorry, not players, more fans to his 300. Was it Dusty or was it CJ's 50th? <laughs> CJ's 50th. Bit of CJ. Yeah. No, I don't know about that, but you're right. I was at the 86, game. 86,000 I thought was very disappointing. Yeah, I, I was I at the agree. game and I looked and we all thought it was easily 90 and then they said 86, which obviously is correct, but it didn't. Yeah. It felt like 100,000. It was amazing yeah. at the ground. Yep. Uh, I didn't see any of it because I was at a pub in South Melbourne <laughs> drinking my sorrows away as the Sydney Swans got belted by 100 points. What the hell is what is happening in the footy know. world? The la this year, it's like, oh, you are you gonna win the flag? Are you the favorite? Oh, he's gonna lose by hundred. Like, yeah. Brisbane, what is happening? Get, Brisbane will get beaten by ten goals next week, <laughs> yeah. and we'll be like, this, yeah, sure. And then, oh, then Carlton, like, oh yeah, remember yeah. like four weeks ago or five weeks ago, we're like Sydney Carlton, no one is no, knocking no, no, them off. Six weeks ago, Sydney, or, or six weeks yeah, maybe before we started losing. That was not that long ago, yeah. and now everyone's like, no, we don't want to be top four. It's yeah, uh, Brisbane are currently like eighty points in front of St Kilda. We yeah. started a little bit early here because well, St Kilda stinks. But Saints fans are already at the station uh, at halftime. I yeah. saw them before. Yeah, half on twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. They were pretty poor. Uh, Jesse Hogan is now leading the Coleman race as the stats boy, and I declared six yes. weeks ago. Jesse Hogan doing it for the battlers who have had something on him at about $7. And Charlie Cameron, literally in the last five minutes, has pinged a hammy, we assume, because he has ice on his hamstring. I don't know if they're doing it precautionary because they're up by ice 80 points, but it didn't look good. It's yeah. never good. No. Yeah. Anyway, should we do it? Ladder check. Oh. Somehow. <laughs> this is good. This is awesome. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, <laughs> because my beloved Sydney Swans are still first on the ladder despite losing by 100. I'm just going to say 150. 150 yeah, points. What was the first. percentage drop? Like it was, six. No, no, no. It, was, it, was, it, was it wasn't like, it like 10 or something. Oh, okay. I think it was 10 oh. because it was 130. After my sixth beer last night, it was six. <laughs> okay, I think it was 11 point. 
8 if we're going to be... Oh, sorry, 10.8 if we're going to be... What did I say last week? Don't get blown out. What yep. did this ones do? Blown out. What the hell? Currently, Brisbane on the live ladder. They're up to 54 points, two points off Sydney. Their percentage currently, uh, with about 15 minutes to go, is 124.9. Could they... Get above Sydney well, yeah, from the well, yeah. in the percentage I'm um, thinking I'm saying like this week in the percentage um, column. Potentially. That, they could. Well, they need another five guys. Yeah, there'd be go to like there's like a live uh, one that does all the percentages for you to tell you what percentage they need to, do, okay. need to get we'll above have to Sydney. Look at that one. Currently in third of Port Adelaide off the back of That's that big, crazy. big win. They've won four of their last five. He is Ken Uff. Give him another Remember when extension. Ken Inkley was no. gone? Remember when he was gone and now they could finish in the top four? <laughs> GWS have now won five straight. Anyone see that coming? I mean, I kind of saw it coming. Uh, Not when they were down six goals. No, Carlton. no. Yeah, but anyway, they got just wild. two weeks in a row. GDF was like, hey, what's that? We're going to give you a head start and run you down because we're awesome. Soon enough. Geelong got by Adelaide. Just have won four of their last five. They are this. So Port Adelaide, GWS, Geelong, all on 52 points. Yep. Brisbane on 54 points. Geelong with the win on 52 points. Fremantle, heartbreaker, lost by a point to Essendon. 50 points. I think that kills their top four chances given their last. Even if they got a draw, the draw, they would be third still if they got the yeah, draw. So. Exactly. That's With so a decent close. They still too. could, but we'll have to wait. Footscray, yeah. up into seventh, up into the eight on 48 points. Four in a row. Fine. Look awesome. Probably the second ranked yep. uh, team in the moment in the yep, competition. Definitely. I agree. Carlton have dropped all the way down to <laughs> eight. <laughs> that was, I swear we just blinked. That was second. And then we blinked in their eighth. Can and we then, get like a live, then we're going to blink again and they're going to be tenth. Can like, we get a live cam on Jim? I oh, know. Uh, no, we can't because he's got a humongous gash oh, in his yeah, leg. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's, he was yeah. He was injured a bit, but he's yeah. all right. Oh. A plate <laughs> smashed through his leg. How good's bringing awful. up serious things on the podcast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he sat behind David Boone on the, uh, on the yeah, plane. Yeah, he was excited. So he's pretty happy about yeah. it. He's like, if I had to get my leg cut, worth it. That was what he said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like me, if I had to see Sydney lose by 100 points to get Isaac Haney into my DMs on Instagram... Yes, we'll show that after, actually, yeah. That was pretty cool. Shout out to my lovely girlfriend, Steph, for the funny present. (laughs) Essendon, with the win, are somehow up to ninth. What the hell? We killed them off last week, and they're like, hey, hey, what's this? False hope. Don't worry, they'll give Gold Coast their... uh, (laughs) No, there's no chance. Watch that. There is no chance. The Gold Coast are coming back from WA. No chance. Leo, (laughs) your beloved Hawthorne, down to 10th. Oh, that's brutal. That was the chance. Brutal. If we beat Carlton, though, same points as Carlton. Yep. Collingwood, have won two in a row. They're up to 11. Still a chance, still alive. Still a sniff. I think everyone below Collingwood isn't playing finals. Yes, Melbourne, done. Yeah, I think 11th, uh, anything below 11th, we're, we're saying Cook now. Yeah. Are we all saying that? Definitely. Yeah. All right. Melbourne, 11th. Gold Coast. What Fake. the hell, Gold Coast? <laughs> I went to bed at three quarters. I was like, they're going to win. Good job. I was like, good job, Dimmer. You <laughs> overcome it. I checked the score. I was just like this. Sure. They're like, oh, wait, we're playing away. We're going to choke. So. Really bad way to start my birthday going, Gold Coast have been beaten. Yeah. Like, and you like, you don't mind Gold Coast. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a true fuck. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. No. Uh, St. Kilda, they're currently 14th and they'll be 14th no matter what happens. They're currently down 80. Yep. Adelaide 15th, West Coast 16th with the win up to 70%. North Melbourne. The happiest team in the bottom eight, I reckon. No, sorry, the bottom 10. <laughs> yes. West North. Coast are probably happier. Oh, uh, yeah, well, maybe actually. Yeah, bad fifty thousand there. You had twenty. Uh, North Melbourne oh, seventy. Uh, it was actually yeah, thirty five forty. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad. bad. Good job. North, North turned up. Yeah. It was actually pretty loud. And like, Richmond fans actually found the ground. It was like, this, is the, this is the one game we can win. And Richmond Wooden Spoon is in last spot. It'll be a miracle if they don't win the Wooden Spoon because they've I also think they're locks for bottom now. They've yeah. got to win another game, but also get the percentage up on North. And I don't see North getting beat by a hundred points in the next. Well, actually, you know what? They I can't say that. <laughs> if Sydney can get beaten by hundred points, anyone can. North can win by hundred points. Given what happened. <laughs> on last night on Saturday night, anything can happen in the world of the AFL football. That's why we love it. That's why no. we which it. leads to, <laughs> which leads to, we usually do the vent session. Honestly, I got nothing to vent about I'm this week. I'm so just sad. I can't vent. <laughs> I had the. I'm I, too happy to vent. So sorry, guys. I had the fixturing that took place last night, but genius work by the AFL, knowing that Port Adelaide and Sydney was going to be the worst game ever. <laughs> they knew, they knew. They're like, it's great. Yeah, the Oracle. La- Laura Kane and the team nailed it. <laughs> anyway, so that gets to the frauds. Let's go look at the frauds. Oh, there's a lot. Gold Coast, are they frauds or are they just a fake club? Both. Of the, All of the above. They frauds. Were, frauds. Three goals up against yeah. West Coast and they lost. Can they go the whole season without winning away? Yeah, but that's then, guy, they haven't won away since like, May of last that year. Is, that is embarrassing. Who is that against? So embarrassing. West Coast. <laughs> so embarrassing. Sydney Swans. Oh, massive fraud. What is going on? What is going on? Uh, we'll get to that in the game. Because at least your other losses were like, oh, they were really close. I, I, I understood the Western Bulldogs because yeah. the dogs are flying. But, I'm, I perplexed. Oh. It's gotten I, worse every week. I'm dumbfounded. Yeah. yeah. This season just I'm doesn't aghast. make sense. We're, we're in it. 
We'll get to that later. Like, I've got, I got, I got some feelings. We'll, we'll give Port their due, and then I'm going to tell you. This off. seems like a really session. long movie. Just, it's just got, keeps going on. It's great. Roll I hate stuff. movies. It's like, <laughs> an, it's like an onion. There's many layers. It's like, a, <laughs> okay, actually, sure. it's like, <laughs> Sorry, it's like a 26, uh, it's 26 episode season where just one episode randomly, some dude just takes up some random hobby. You're like. That was a waste of 40 minutes, but nice. It's got Drive to Survive Netflix uh, vibes. If, if I people, have not people, seen I mean, that. You might not watch that, but Netflix it. just lick their lips every time there's a bit of drama or the big team loses or things like that. The, the whole season. Better. Oh, no way. I feel like Carlton are bigger frauds than the Swans. Yeah, absolutely. Swans are still yeah. first. Swans are still first. Like, Carlton are eighth. All the Swans fans are like, oh, this sucks. It's dumb. Like, we're still first. Like we, The Swans win next week. They've locked up top four. And the other thing, we literally, what is it, probably five or six weeks ago. Like, I've said that for the last three weeks, by the way. Yeah. yeah. You're like, at least we're still first. Yeah, yeah. Next if week, we oh, win next no. week. <laughs> yeah, Alex, next week. Oh, wait, we're not first anymore. I don't know, have anything to say. Yeah. I don't know, I'm like, <laughs> still top four, boys. Uh, you can you can still be happy first, at least. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Carlton, I honestly think they are bigger frauds. Their game yeah, has yeah, just 100%. dropped away yeah, off, oh. the, off the face of the earth. But like losing to Collingwood in a game like that. But the way that they've lost games, they gave away an eight-goal lead against GWS and got run over. What is it? Four of their last five they've lost now. And the only win was North, and that was very unconvincing. That, yeah, we could have won that And that was well. unconvincing. Like, at least the Swans, who were the one team that beat North too, they pumped them by, what, 90, 80, 90 points? Yeah. Something like yeah. that. But it's just, what's going What's going on with Carlton? Charlie Kerno can't get near the footy. Their defense is just, as just, we've said all year, their Achilles heel. Yeah. Um, We'll get to the Mitch McGovern shot on goal later. Like it's not his fault, but it's no, but it didn't help. Yeah, no, it didn't. Uh, and Fremantle, you 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 just snuck into fraud watch there with your last quarter. Uh, I'm still fifty. You are in front of Essendon by twenty five points, and you lose the game to Essendon. You sneak into. Fraud. I think we need perspective with Freo. They are a very young side on the rise. I think they'll be okay. The Swans have a have a very similar age demographic. Yeah, no, no, that's for, but like so Freo I, didn't lose by hundred. Whoa, yeah, but man. no, I'm saying that's why I'm saying they snuck into fraud watch yeah. by giving up four late goals. So, like, Hawthorne don't go in there because you weren't in the eight. So we also weren't the better team today. No, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Anyway, oh. let's get into some game wraps. Starts guy, I need a drink of water. You start talking about Footscray and Melbourne. Footscray should have kicked about 180 points. Yeah, so it was 15 goals, 20, uh, 110. Melbourne nine goals, five fifty nine. What is that? Uh, 35 scoring just to 14. They they should have absolutely pumped them. Fools. Plus the out in the fools. Uh, Jamara is obviously in amazing form. He was he had four goals in his last three weeks, and then he's gone two goals, six. You can't be doing that. Wait, we also had two goals, Maddox, three. Jamar, uh, so ahead. just a lot of shots that were just going wayward. Dogs Boardman was just awesome, though. They scored 64 points off turnovers. They, they were just electric. The bomb was unstoppable. He was back to his best, 33 and two goals. 16 score involvement. So he's doing his best Sheasel impression, the bomb there. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, they were, they were just awesome. The depth players, Alex didn't like that uh, Sheasel call with the bomb. Both beautiful men just playing at the top of their game. Just don't you reckon that's... Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not calling a 20-year-old beautiful. You do use Oh, guy. my God. You made that very yeah, weird. Yeah, you made that weird. You yeah. made that weird. That is, that is getting weird. Uh, I also wrote down here, the depth players are really strong, like the likes of uh, Caleb Poulter, Lockie Bramble, like... Yeah. Guys that you would go, oh, are they going to get a game at other teams? They were great. We like, said this about yeah. Bramble last week. Yeah. It's like, what is going on? He's been really good, yeah. And he's then, a bit soft, but yeah, he's doing his right. But Caleb Poulter was awesome. Caleb Poulter was really good. Uh, and then I wrote Gorn, really, actually pretty strong. Even for no, super he looked, he scored well in Supercoach. Yeah. He looked In terms of his sore. stats, he was pretty good. Like, he competed really well in the ruck, got Honestly, a lot of the ball. Honestly, they should rest him for the rest of the year because he's potentially going to hurt himself. They don't have so. another ruckman. But they're not going to make finals, so who cares? So, yeah, we can officially say Melbourne's cooked. They don't have any offense at all, scoring 59 points. This game should have been over 10 minutes yeah. into the first quarter if the Western Bulldogs could have converted. And maybe they purposely didn't kick straight. So they celebrated their 70-year uh, premiership anniversary. Got a bit of a stat for you. They won by the exact same margin as that 1954 premiership. And oh, that's yeah, what they were I'm, celebrating I'm, in the same old kit with the Coles, 51 points. I'm so, sure that, yeah. you know, uh, Jamara, Jamara Eagle Hagen <laughs> cares about Brad Johnson winning a premiership in 1954. <laughs> Brad, Johnson. Brad Johnson. He's not that old. He's been around for that long, right? <laughs> Brad, Brad Johnson. Johnson is only His like teeth have been 50, around not, he's not 150. That's, that's the joke, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's what not really much to Yeah, we're yeah. Anyone else want to say catch something? This game, uh, so. That's okay. This is Bond just going, hey, I can still win the brown line. Yeah, that, he's got three votes like locked in. He was Trelaw was amazing. Can with you 30 get and two six? Because he should get six. All six. Uh to be fair, Trelaw was really good. Thirty and two goals. That uh, there was a, someone on the weekend. I think it was on another podcast saying he's one of the best recruits in the whole comp. Trelaw. That he has been he's awesome. He's been there for two years. Yeah, he doesn't care. Like, I know, but yeah. in the last couple oh, of years, okay. like just just been awesome. Like people, but also Colin would be like. Got a flag, nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all good. But yeah, foot's great, awesome. F fan base is foot's great. Like, it's great. How good's footy? How good's Bevo? How good's consistency? <laughs> this is the best. Wait, how are the? Remember when we were saying who's gonna get Bevo? No one's got Bevo in a while. It's pretty sad. Caleb Daniel is still true. getting Bevo. He was sub, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Jack McRae was in the two, and Sanders. 
Uh, 39 disposals, three goals in the two. Yeah, Jeez, be, he's looking so good there, for Tassie. There are some little bevos going <laughs> yeah, on here bevo, and there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Brendan Gale's been on the phone to Sam. He's going, mate, just stay fit till 2028. We'll get you a fat contract down here at Tassie on the waterfront. You and McKercher. But, yeah. like, yeah, it's just a lot of weird things happening. Bulldogs are consistent. Pretending you didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. McKirch, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. So uh, how are the fan base is feeling? Dogs so, are just up and about. They're like, we're going to the flag. This yeah, is the best we've played in about five years. They're and awesome. the D's fans won't turn up to the MCG. No, the D's fans are like, we played. Yeah. What? Yeah. D's fans are like, when's Petrarca back? Oh, not till next yeah. season. Yeah, because I can speak on behalf. So my partner's mother is a D's fan. She's like, oh, well, next year. Like, they just need a forward as well. They, they just can't. They don't have any chance to kick Ring them up West like 85 They need depth. Ring yeah, West Coast and be like, sup, we have a first rounder. Oscar Allen or Jake Waterman? Who do you want ah, to see? They never get rid of. What, isn't someone else going after Waterman? Um, no, I think it's Melbourne. Geelong as well. Geelong, Melbourne. sorry, that's what it was. Yeah, of course, Geelong. Though, Melbourne, Geelong. Melbourne need him more than Geelong. That's for sure. anyway. Speaking of Jake Waterman and Oscar Allen, West Coast fifteen seven ninety seven beat Gold Coast thirteen nine eighty seven. <sighs> Just Gold Coast did it. Again. What are they doing? What are they doing? They don't have the twenty eighth parallel lives though on one side of the argument. On one side. So we've got they still haven't won from home. I had to write that in there because our theory is still alive. Yeah, the theory is they can't win away from home. No, they can't win away. What from are they home. doing? <laughs> they played West Coast. Is, we beat West Coast. Is Gold Coast beating Geelong one hundred and sixty four to one hundred <laughs> the weirdest result of the year? No, oh, I still think the, no, the Sydney those one. Those conditions they were, that was up in Darwin. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. No, nah, that's not that weird. <laughs> It's pretty they weird, and they lose to West Coast. No, they're pretty strong up in Darwin. Yeah, I know, but that's what makes it weird. They can't be frigging West Coast. Maybe they should just pay the AFL or whatever they've got, get rid of some of their players since they have, and just play every game at Darwin. Like, they just pay pay the AFL millions to play every game at Darwin. And with no players. With, with no, yeah, just yeah. like... Yeah, you know, as long as you have Lukosius, that's it. Yeah. As long as you have Lukosius. Because... That is this is embarrassing. West Coast, yeah. I chucked in here. West Coast dominated fourteen to eight in the center clearances. Yeah, that's embarrassing because Gold Coast you go on paper have an awesome midfield. Yeah, but West Coast midfield comparatively is still Harley Reid, Kelly, yeah. and yo. Yeah, K Kelly was awesome. Thirty-one disposals, yeah. eight clearances. He um, was the man. He, he was so good. He's three votes. Uh, and then that's just the pressure from the Eagles. They just had tackles everywhere. Awesome inside fifty tackles. Uh, there was just so many weird things that happened in this I game. I thought King was dead. In the first quarter, as someone who'd backed him to kick four goals. Oh, he got when three, he, yeah. Where, when, he got, when he'd missed the first two and then got knocked out and somehow passed the concussion test, I had a really good night of betting on Friday. It was fun. Jamara oh, for yeah. four and King for four was my double. Very nice. I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. Two goals, six, and three two goals, goals, three. Oh, three. Oh, yeah, I thought one of them got... No, 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 got no. It was a, a multi-stats guy. Um, <laughs> Mac Andrew looked three like goals. a half-competent forward as well. Why did they put him forward? That was pretty weird. Wow. Three goals. Okay, it worked. Three, yeah. Well, because he was trying to stretch... They were trying to stretch the defence. It did work pretty well. Obviously, they lost in the end. Yeah. Uh, the Waterman, Waterboy. Jake the, the Snake. Waterman. The Waterman. Uh, yeah. Four Marcus, goals. Marcus's big call was six goals for Waterman in a West Coast win. He got the West he Coast He got the West Coast. He was the only one to sit West Coast as well, actually, yeah. It's very funny that he tore that Guernsey in Essendon and then won a game. Yeah, it was a good debut. I watched. Oh, he's got sure. other Guernseys. I think he's all right. Yeah, he might he's have to another one. I was going to say, he might rip up his Chelsea one given their performance this morning. Ah, it's just preseason. Wait, what happened? They got belted by Man City. Yeah, we got had a hat trick in like 10 minutes. Ah, that's, that's all right. That's, that's football Man, today. That's pre-season. I mean, I think you've conceded 15 goals in pre-season. Ah, that's doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be Chelsea. Anyway, than speak, yeah. Life. So uh, this was a great win for West Coast. This is one of those ones. It's the, it's the, it's good to get a win before the end of the year. They can hold onto that for the next couple of weeks. Yep. They're a chance of beating North Melbourne next week. So if they win nah, end no the chance. season, uh, how many wins have they got at the moment? They've got four. four. They end the season with five wins. That feels successful that's given the over-under yeah. was four. Yeah. yeah. I'll give them that. They've hit the over. Yep. Good job. I can't believe they, they won that. How That's the crazy. fan base is feeling. West Coast, like, it's rules. How good's winning? Football's yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're very excited. They're like, all right, we got to, we've got a bit of to cheer about. Gold Coast 7 fans like, can we just, like, rebrand everything? <laughs> I think Barb said that as well about, uh, sorry, back to West Coast, about uh, Eagle Rock. That was the loudest Eagle Rock they've heard in, in a long time. See, they also, <laughs> West Coast should wear those retro kits every week. That's a, that's a sick and, kit, yeah. And come out to the old song. Not this new crap. No, just come out to Eagle Rock. No, the Kings of Leon song sucks. Go back to no, the it's old... No, it's not Kings of Leon. It's uh, Birds, of Birds of Tokyo. It does suck. Though. Same band, both crap. <laughs> no, Kings of Leon's good. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but don't come out to the Birds of Tokyo. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, we made plans to change the song. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Saturday. I'm laughing at you. Yeah, I'm laughing North at you. Melbourne, 14 6 Come on, yeah! let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Beat Richmond, 10 17 77. Stats guy, you have two minutes no, and 43 seconds. Can I, go. Can I have Let, 30 him minutes? Let him cook. Let him cook. Oh, uh, early on, I was very nervous in this game. Uh, watching the watch the replay. I wasn't there, obviously, but I was nervous watching, Fake the, fam. watching the I was playing footy. I was there. My team, we got a 50 point win as well, so I was very excited. Leo was there. Got Richmond, two minutes now. Richmond
I'm just not used to us winning. It's oh, just God. slow down. Just relax. Okay, okay. Oh, I got this. I got this. How do you? He was the he was the yard uh, difference in this one. I'm saying he was unbelievable. I'll get into that with my best yeah, on ground. I want to get into that too, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, he would just really hit the scoreboard, burst out of the clearances. Prestia and Baker were pretty solid. Prestia had 29 disposals, eight clearances. Side note: He was in long sleeves. Didn't like it. Yeah, it didn't look good. No, who, Prestia. Uh, Prestia, yeah, he meatball. was, wasn't he? Why was a meatball in long sleeves? Dude, yeah, don't no, like it. This doesn't uh, not a good combo. Baker was pretty solid, ten score of Melbourne's. But I, I watching the uh, highlights, he cost him the game yeah. a bit with some costly misses. Two Baker. goals, three. And Baker and Bolton, yeah, did you their see that minds as well? are in WA. Oh, they, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Absolutely. Baker was missing shots. Bolton, he got towed up by Arthur. Someone was someone was into us on the social medias about Bolton because we're like, yeah, he doesn't work hard enough in a team that needs him to work hard. Like, and the guys are like, yeah, he doesn't try. That's why he's not with us. Like, that's he's lazy, literally yeah. what we said. It's Very like, lazy. no, you didn't. I'm like, mm. okay, dude. Like, shy Bolton, downhill skier. Yeah. Yeah. Having watched the game. Yeah. Jackson Archer was your best player. He was really good. And I, I, I didn't think Bailey Scott yes. was your second best. Yep. And Nick Larky, your third. Best. Okay. I don't to, mind that. To also con continue on my awesome weekend of betting, Bax McKirch have 35 disposals That's at $5. Great, yep, no, we only had 31. Yeah, oh, 35. He had 35. No, no, no. 30, oh, he had, I swear he had, he had 17 no, no. at quarter time. Yeah, and then he didn't have much after that. But, I could have sworn he got uh, Another one I wrote in here, Ed, Ed Dersma. You would have been up oh. on your feet for that. That's going to be up here for Mark of the Year. No, it's not. Jamie oh, Elliott's on Anzac. He, Jamie he, Elliott on Anzac oh, Day will win. The top I said up there. I said up there. I'm not saying it's better, but that was amazing. Literally. He jumped over Noah Bolter, who's one of the tallest when, players on the game. When it happened, I thought it was Stevenson. Oh, really? I went to my mate. I was like, what the hell is Steve-O doing? <laughs> yeah, he, he can't jump that high. <laughs> He's had too many BMX incidents. Uh, North, I just wrote down here, second half, we just lowered the eyes inside 50. We never do that. Third quarter, gave, you're very impressive. Gave Lucky a chance to kick five, five straight. That was 30 awesome. seconds. Last thing I want to say is, uh, lads, what do you think about Tristan Cherry? It's Bay 29. I don't know if you guys know about this. Yeah, Bay 29 helmets. at North game. They all wore helmets for Cherry. It was pretty cool. There. Legacy game. Legacy it? game. He was awesome. Tore up Nank. Is Cherry a chance for all Australia? Yeah, I've been it's saying him, this. It's him and Grundy. Him or Grundy you know, or Marshall. I said that I think a couple months ago and no, no one was no, on, no, on board I'm, with me I'm there. Back but, in it. Oh, okay. So, a couple months ago it was gone. Anyway, yeah, we, know awesome. that we know the fan bases are feeling great because... I'm very excited. North, but this diminutive fellow is happy. I was a bit mad that West Coast won because I was like, oh, we could pass West Coast. Well, now you're going to pass them next week. Hopefully, we can pass them next week. Yep. West Coast are going to win. Uh, <laughs> and Richmond are like, yeah, we went to Marvel. It sucks. Ri I know, yeah, Richmond, isn't that uh, now seven straight losses? No, uh, sorry, without a six win. losses and one uh, draw. draw at Marvel. So Dimmer has cursed the, uh, the Tigers at Marvel. Love it. To Marvel. Yes. <laughs> Geelong, 13-12-90, came over the top of the Adelaide Crows, 13-7-85. Adelaide didn't know how to finish their dinner. I'm standing by that point. They should have won this game. Oh, is it really? Yeah, okay. Mm, I didn't yeah. watch the whole game. I saw the highlights and then saw a little pizza. I, this, this was a Jez again. This, is, this, was, Je was, this awesome. was Jez low. Yeah. Cats again, they just did enough. They didn't yeah. do enough to go like, oh, they're going to win the flag. No, no. Yeah, and again, another result Adelaide? not going Hawthorne's way. I think Geelong's, their quality isn't of top four, but they're probably still going to finish top four. They just... Like they're fifth at the moment. They're fifth at the moment. I still think they could finish top four. Yeah, Jezza was back. He had six snags. He was awesome. Cats dominated the clearances. Joe Danaher just had an air ball, by the oh, way. Oh, what are you? What are you doing, Joey? Come on, mate. Uh, yeah, Cats dominated the clearances. Fifty-three to Is that thirty-three. Right? Fifty-three clearances. I'm pretty. Oh, I'll have to double. Well, that think, sounds think, like a lot, think, right? Think of throw-ins and ball-ups around the ground. Yeah, I think I'm pretty. Including sure center clearances. Really? So that's, you, that's embarrassing. Got, with twenty-six goal, twenty-six goals plus, you know, your four. So there's thirty to begin with. Yeah. Straight away. I'm pretty sure that's Sometimes right. clearances. Like, you can have a stoppage without a clearance sometimes. Okay, well, I just thought that's pretty embarrassing, by the way, because the Cats midfield isn't that good. But yeah. putting Tommy Stewart in there is really good. I had, I even wrote down um, Adelaide's forward line was just re worked really well together. For once, you got three from Michelle, two from Walker, three from Thrillthorpe. Uh, he had probably one of his best games of his career as well. Ten score involvements. So I'm the crowd all about the Thriller. Time. He's so I'm fun I'm sorry, to watch. Tex. you got to go. Let Thriller, yeah. let him cook. If yeah. Franken plays, they win this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. They, he's probably he's the back next week. Yeah, but Geelong just know how to hold on down at the academy. They did pretty well there. Yeah, yeah. too good. How are the fan base feeling? Geelong like cool, another win. This is sick. Yeah, Adelaide they, fans are like play Daniel Curtin. Oh my god! Yeah, was it is that the, yeah, new, yeah. the new version of Bevo? You got nicked. You got nicked. Oh. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you got nicked. That sounds weird. I don't know why. Um, I'm rolling with it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, Matty Nicks. What is he doing? What? Play the play the kids, mate. You you can't. Where are there's, they? Where are there's they the questions right do need to be asked about their youth development. Yeah, fifteen. Well. You're you're fifteenth, mate. Just play the kids. We played a grand total of eight minutes and fifty five seconds. Did Daniel oh. Curtin? So fan base is like. We hate you, Matthew Nix. Yeah, I think Adelaide fans are just mad because they were probably like, oh, we could have something to cheer about, beat the Cats, and we've done it again. We don't, they don't know how to win close games. Saturday, MCG, Collingwood, 
This was ridiculous. <laughs> Only 86,000 people turned up, though, which is a bit disappointing. Anyway. I was there. Carlton probably shot themselves in the foot in the first quarter by kicking one goal late. What were they doing in yeah. the first quarter? Put it through the big sticks, lads. All the, the groans in the stadium yeah, every time. Well, it was, it was zero goals eight, and then Mackay's dribbler on the on siren. The siren. Yeah. yeah, he kicks the dribbler. Yeah, like, honestly, that that was really costly. That it literally cost them the game. If they just kick one of those, they probably would have won. So take us through this game because I've I've only seen the highlights. So I, was, I noticed that Pendlebury was everywhere. He had twenty seven touches. Like he just lifted for his game, which was great to see. Yeah, so, Carlton just throughout the game was just like they. It was. I feel that this and this. Correct me if I'm wrong from having only watched the highlights in, in the corner in the pub. Yep. Carlton lost this game more than Col Collingwood won it. Uh, probably. That, Carlton mm. are just so sloppy. They yeah, the turnovers. Their, that's what I mean. At the, in, Collingwood, at the end. but it, it sort of helped Collingwood gain a bit of confidence. So then this was like the first time I've, in the second and third quarter where Pies kicked, I wrote down nine goals to five. It was the, those two quarters were the first two quarters in about a month where the Pies looked, play, looked like they were playing confident footy mm. yeah. because they were like, oh, Carlton aren't that good anymore. We're just going to play our but old was style. was it also just we're just going to run and who cares? Yeah, but yep. they haven't really been doing that the last couple of months. They've been sort of slowing it down. Their yep. defense was hot. Even um, Darcy Moore, he was, wasn't great one-on-one, -on -one, but some of his passes were really oh, good. They were just much more confident than uh, they have been over the last couple of months. Mm. But yeah, it was more Carlton shooting themselves in the foot. Carlton fans are like, oh, why do we always do this? They just have these months of really good patches and then months of really bad patches. It's yep. really bad. Uh, so to go, he's done his hammy. He's out for the season. Yeah. Obviously high up ha uh, hamstring tendon. Biggest issue for me out of this is Adam Chera does another soft tissue. What is going on with Carlton strength and conditioning? Yeah, he's always well, he's, he, like he's always got injured. He's yeah. like five. This he's like 24, 25. Like he shouldn't have this yeah. many hands. Did he have issues. injuries at Freo? I can't even remember to be honest. Not Probably many. not, not as many so, as he has no. at Carlton, obviously. But yeah. but there's just a lot of soft tissue injuries that have happened at Carlton in the past two years. Mm. Yeah, it's, I don't get it. We've got to get to the Mitch McGovern shot after the siren. <laughs> Did Lockie Schultz's shin send his brain into another universe? Is that the best it? thing Lockie Schultz has done at Collingwood? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it could be. He hasn't done much else. Can, we could probably talk about him. He, that is embarrassing, that that overall trade, that Schultz, he just can't do anything. He's still got time to re resurrect He's got five it. years left on his yeah. deal. Oh, Let's go. Well, <laughs> Pies fans like, oh, yeah, but, hope but, you yeah. but also, at the time, he was leaving. No, I, I agree. He yeah. kicked 40-odd goals for yeah, Fremantle. Yeah. He was probably their best forward last at year. At the time, I'm like, that is a great trade, yeah. But it's also, the trade doesn't look is good because he can't get a kick and also because Collingwood are going to miss finals. Everyone this year's going, oh, Collingwood will finish top four. That's pick 15 for Lockie Schultz. Yeah, that feels right. Yeah. Mm, no, I agree. Yeah. It, it, it's about hindsight because yeah. at the time I was like, that's a good trade. But yeah. yeah. Mitch McGovern, yeah. What, what, was he concussed? Obviously, past, no one said well, he was there, concussed. There was, imagine, like imagine, he might have a virus on Sunday. I was about to say, <laughs> but imagine that though, if like the doc, this is what would, this is where you do need these things to be independent. The AFL's independent dude saw it and goes, nah, hook him. Who would you be hoping is like next to him at the time? Surely just Harry like, Mackay. Surely just no, like Charlie, go stand next Charlie, to him. Charlie, Charlie, go stand Charlie's next kicking recently hasn't been great though. No, he'll probably, he'll probably try and snap it around the zero. corner from fifty. Yeah, out. but you know what I mean. Like it's should that should that something have been done there? Given he was he quite clearly copped the knock, and the fact that he shinned it into no. Bay yeah. fifteen. But maybe that could have been nerves or anything. I don't know because yeah. that was such a big hit. Everyone at the ground was just. Stressing out the yeah, how was fans. how was that thirty right. seconds? Everyone was just fans laughing. probably celebrated as soon as he kicked it because they love celebrating. Well, there is a video circulating these Carlton fans that did celebrate yeah. early and they were like giving it to the Pies fans yeah. and the Pies fans just pointed to the. They scoreboard. celebrate so early, but the ball like, as soon as he like, yeah, straight went away. Yeah. It, went it was sideways. worse than Logan McDonald's kick. Yeah, it was. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think it was down to McGovern. They just that first quarter cost them. That was yeah. plain and simple. And they just that brand of sort of taking the game on. Uh, keeping but lots is, of goals. But this is also what we've said. In transition, Carlton don't work hard enough. No, and we've been saying no. it all year. Remember when, uh, it goes back to it because it's a game that sticks out in the memory. When the Swans cut them open, yep. don't defend in transition. You can be, And the same last week with Port Adelaide. They don't defend in transition. Hmm. And it's cost them again. Yeah. Yep. No, you're not wrong. The other thing I was going to say is this game was actually pretty average. The first three quarters were just scrappy. Both teams were it's just very scrappy. And then, not that but that's why teams. I like AFL. Randomly, it'll be a close game. Everyone goes, oh, it's the best game. And I was there. Like, exactly. I was yeah. up and about. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't think it was a great game. No, it wasn't. Hard. But it was It was still fun. Fan bases, Carlton are like, oh, God, it's happening again. They yeah, are so I, nervous. I have a Carlton mate and he is, he's in his shell. Let's just say that. He's, yeah, they should yeah. still make but, finals. In fairness, but, they never, the Carlton fans sort of never, like the logical Carlton fans never let on and believe mm. truly. And now they're just like. No, I think oh. when they were second, there was a lot saying. No, but they were waiting. They were, they were like, we can see this coming. Like, I think Jim could. <laughs> yeah, 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 Jim's pretty and negative towards. Good Carlton, friend of mine, uh, my partner's best friend, Laura, Carlton fan. Yep. About a month ago, she's like, I don't, I don't like this. Yeah. this something, mm. something's gonna go wrong. And well, the thing is, though, is, we're saying obviously they're gonna make fun. Obviously, they are frauds. Let's just say that. They are. But if you look at the top eight, 
I think we do have the best eight teams in the top eight. Uh, right now? Uh, I, like Hawthorne, Essen, and Collingwood are the three out I of it. agree, I agree. I don't think any of those so teams you're should saying be in fine. if I every agree. team in the top 11 plays their best brand of football right now on the same day against each other, well, hang on. the teams that are... Hawks at their best would, would cause upsets, but... My point is, throughout the course of the season, yeah. we were zero and five. No, I'll give you that. I'll like, give you that. And then you won a game, and then you lost by ninety. Yeah, yeah. And es- like Essendon should make it because, well, their percentage is what ninety five. Yeah. Collingwood should make it. They haven't been that good this they year. Were like pathetic to start the so season. So if if the eight did change, I'd obviously love it if Hawthorne made. Of course. It, but I I do think Carlton are in the best eight teams yeah. still. Fair enough. How are the fan base is feeling Collingwood because we've talked about Carlton. Uh, Collingwood are like still, finals. Still a chance. They'll be believing every game, yeah, I but think. They'll be much. believing. Who have they? Who have they got? They got from here? Sydney, Brisbane, and Melbourne. <laughs> well, they'll Sydney, beat Melbourne. They could. Be, it, Sydney's this in is a huge could, game. They week. could beat Sydney. They play I'm, well against I'm Sydney. Brisbane's at the G too. No, they don't. The Swans don't have got the wood over them in the last couple of years. Oh, I just. I, There's I, been Brisbane, one win for Collingwood. The Brisbane game is at the MCG as well. Ooh, they will be. I'm going to that. Yeah, the MCG parallel for the Lions, and then the last game is who? Melbourne. They'll beat Melbourne. They'll win that. Yeah, so they'll be believing Collingwood. And That's crazy. They're, they're, you don't want to play. You don't want to play Colin because they know how to play Colin in the best eight teams, but you don't want to play. No, if you do, you want to be an interstate team and you're going to make them travel. Yep. Yeah, like, like if, they, if they've got to go to Brisbane, Perth, or Sydney, they probably won't win the first week of the finals. Brisbane. Well, they're not going to make top four. No, but I'm just saying. No. Anyway, crazy. Saturday or oh, Adelaide as well. Saturday night, Adelaide oh, Oval, Port no. Adelaide, 22 goals, 16, 148. The Sydney Swans, five six thirty six. What the I hell? I don't think anyone <laughs> predicted this. No one could have seen this coming. No way. Even the most like biased Port Adelaide fan, they probably be like, oh yeah, we'll win by 10 goals. No <laughs> one saw it being 112 points. 112 points is unbelievable. They've now won, they've now haven't lost to Sydney since 2015. Is that eight that's straight? Crazy. I wrote it here. I think that's I think right. It's yeah. eight, eight straight. It's 2015. That's crazy. It was 71 to nil at one point. <laughs> when the Swans got a point, we went nuts at the pub. That sounds yeah. like a North game. Like I, I, I remember cheering against the Dogs once when North got a goal in like the, the third quarter for like, I was like, oh my God, we finally got a goal. Yeah. That's the Sydney Swans. <laughs> the, apparently Jim goes the best team in the last 150 years. They've lost by 100. You realise it's a bit because he says I, Essendon I, I know are the best team in the competition. Just, I was right. that it's up. Essendon are the best team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so They're back. Port Adelaide's forward line just clicked. Like Asava looked like prime forward. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Georgiades kicked four. Rioli kicked four. Dixon kicked three. Their forward line was just on. Mm. I mean, like, what, Rosie was everywhere. Butters had a pretty good game. Ollie Wines went Willem on the Drew. back as well. Willem Drew, all of a Willem sudden, Drew was the greatest player Matthew ever. Link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, this sucks. He was prime Gary Abba Jr. <laughs> oh, but red hair. Did, um, <laughs> so did Radicalia play forward? Yeah. Interesting. His ball drop is horrendous. I don't, he can't I, kick, yeah. It just annoys me that it poured out a late third and they have Radigalier in their team. Like, he took five me. marks. All of them were four, but, like, he, he just can't kick. Uh, Rosie had, had a pretty awesome goal at one point as well. Kane Farrell was really good as well. Like, everyone, for, and Dan Houston was just, like, I'm just going to cut laps through, mm. this, through the centre. And he kicked a couple of long bombs. He was, was great. was Sydney's best player? Errol. It was Errol by so far. There you go. But yeah, no, no Sydney players are getting votes when, I when thought, he kicked I also thought points. Tom McCartan... <laughs> Was good and our man Cheeks. Yeah, tried he's always, he out. was always pretty solid. Yeah. It's a tough day to be a defender. Yeah. The one thing I want to ask you, you're a Sydney fan, Alex. Here we go. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to have a go or anything. No, no, man. I think it's I know more, where this is more, going. I just want to talk about the forward line because there's all these guys. Amadi one week. Amadi oh, I'm going to kick out. nine. Oh, sorry, not Amadi. Um, Logan McDonald, I'm talking about. Just a lot of the he last. Played did he played back. He played back. Oh, I, oh what? <laughs> So I he got that. into a Marty who was a laid out, and then he said Logan McDonald if played. Okay, back. this is the forward line in general. <laughs> Hayden the McLean last four weeks. Hayden McLean kicked two. Kick like, two. The, the ball never got in there. The ball didn't get in there enough. But then, all right, I'll, the other thing I was going to say. Right, I'll, I'll go again, go again. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I've been all right. Jared, cut then. that footage. That's cut actually funny. And Stats the other thing I was going to say is when you shut down, obviously Errol was all right, but when you shut down your uh, mid scoring goals or your mids. They didn't get shut down. Is the depth of Sydney a worry? That's all I'm saying. No, so the problem. The last five weeks it has been, I think. So the problem, mm. first of all, let's get let's also, there in a long way. <laughs> let's also get to this. So uh, Port Adelaide laid ten tackles to two inside the fort inside. Yeah, that was uh, great. 50. The whole game. Yeah, yeah. Two tackles inside fifty. Yeah, yeah. Well, it didn't go in there. It only went inside fifty Mate, like not, fifteen times. It was the Swans' fifth biggest loss ever. It was their first time they've lost by hundred since nineteen ninety eight. John, yeah, Long, obviously, in, yeah. John Longmire's worst result ever. No team has ever won the flag after losing it like that season after you've lost by hundred points, or if you concede one hundred and forty one or more points. Well, they, so therefore. No, no. Geelong can't win. I had a look today. There, there's, there's a team a, in 1940. 1945, right? Carlton won the flag when they lost by 100, but that's the last time they it's happened. They beat South yeah. Melbourne. 79, yeah. So Bugger. there is a chance. There is a yeah. chance. But no te- Well, then no team has ever won when they've conceded more than no. 141 yeah. points. That, so therefore, crazy. also, that means uh, 
Geelong can't win it because they conceded 160. I think true. Yeah, I know that's a stat. I want to get onto the selection, but I think I just just quickly. I think still believe because yeah. remember in 2017. St. Kilda beat Richmond at Marvel in like round 18 and they were 92 to 9 at halftime. They were, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and Richmond went on to win I saw flag. someone say that this is the Swan St. Kilda Richmond game. I was like, no. it could be. But it I just be. think this is going to suck the belief out of the, that. Like a 112 point loss when, what is it, for the last five years? If it was at home, game. yes, it's in Adelaide <laughs> and it's a team you haven't beaten in 10 years. They'll be going into training this like, like oh, are we actually that good anymore? But anyway. As, as, as Isaac Heaney said in the DM to me earlier today. Lovely. We'll bounce back. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, you got to get that in the air. Chuck it on. Yeah, Chuck we'll it on. Yep. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Selection. Is this a vent sesh? This is an event. Okay. This is more. <laughs> he went down um, full mum mode when he said, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Last night, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luke Parker is the sub. He's just sitting there, and the Swans are getting smashed in clearance and just can't move the ball. And he's probably just sitting there on the bench, just like. And funnily enough, Long Sub me in, coach. Longmire was in the Longmire was in the coach's box this week. Oh, uh, and after, then he lost my hundred. Uh, Get him back down. But to Luke, Luke Parker's probably sitting there, just like I want to punch him. Where is he? As he, if, as if you're not making it early when you're losing by that did. much. They, they stuck Corey quarter, Warner off before what? halftime. Okay, good. That's what I, I just wanted to check. That's that. what you mean. I was at the other game. <laughs> I was at the other. Shock. I had a shock with this game. I've been <laughs> quite, so, I brought the energy on the all the other ones. Thank you very much. Other than you guys, let me get to it. So Joel Amati was a laid out. I'm assuming that could also be a bit of management. He's had mm-hmm. soft tissue issues in the past. He's never played this many games consecutively in his career. No, fair enough. They bring in old mate Eshe, Peter Laddams. <laughs> Eshe. Eshe. He's bye. an Eshe, yeah. <laughs> Guess his old team. Who hasn't. Was he wearing the TNs? Yeah. Oh, no, I, don't, I don't care what he was wearing. He could be wearing <laughs> slippers for all I care. I love the Swans. <clears throat> but picking Peter Laddams, who in VFL has not looked like getting a touch, what are we doing? Nah, he's tall. You've got to pick him. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. you've picked? Caden Cleary, who's getting possession. He's not tall, though. Doesn't matter. I would have picked someone small. I would have gone smaller against their defense because the Swans decided, oh, we're just going to bomb it in long <laughs> towards Zerk Thatcher and Aaliyah Aaliyah. What are they good at? Marking, Intercept yeah. If you're going to bomb it, then you've got to play it tall. But that's what I mean. If small. they didn't, they had smaller dudes there. They start Luke Parker out of a goal score. You have Caden Cleary playing. You can lower the eyes and just get it in there, get it in there low and quickly. That's when the Swans kicked their goals, was when the ball actually moved fast. Yeah. But you, this is two weeks in a row that John Longmire and the selection committee have absolutely balls that up. And this is what, how Swans fans are feeling. This rolls into the how the fan base is feeling. Yes. They are very confused and angry at the decisions that the selection committee is making. Yes, they're first, so don't throw the toys out of the cot. They can Ooh, still almost. win it. But these selections, like Peter Laddams played forward and dropped about eight chess marks. Mm. Never <laughs> to play a league game again. He won't be in next week. If least, Joel yeah. Hamlin can't get a game, I don't know what he has to do. Does he have to do a standing backflip in front of the, the list? I like because that. Aaron Francis came in. He usually does a 7 out of 10. He did a 3 out of 10. <laughs> he has to be dropped. I was hoping three, Lewis Mellican and Dane Rampey are back next week. If they are, great. But this also shows how important Justin McInerney is to this one setup. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's been like. Yeah, but he's not going to help you win. No, but it also he's loss. also involved in in those outlet kicks when Blakey gets the ball. They usually find each mm. other and run off each other. His pace, run and carry this year. He's one of those dudes that if you don't go for the Swans, you don't notice how important he is. Ever since he's been down, the Swans haven't have lacked a lot of dash. Fair enough. And Nick Blakey, honestly, mate, just all you need to do this week. Don't worry about doing any other training. Just get someone 20 meters away, just hit him on the chest. How many, yeah, how many turnovers did he end up 73. having? 73. 73. Oh, that's a record. What Fan record? bases, Port Adelaide are like, this is great. How good is football? We like, Ken, we like Ken Inkley again. Let's get on the tins. <laughs> They're so happy over there. They're like, 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 what is it? About eight weeks ago, they were like, get out. Like, anyway, you know, you've got to get probably going to think they're going to win the flag. They're idiots. That, too much Swans time. Let's go. GWS came from nowhere. I can't, I don't have the actual score oh, in front sorry, of me. We'll get it up. Knocked over Hawthorne in the last couple of minutes. Thanks to, to 82. Tom Green's awesome a left foot snap. The hometown hero as well. He's from yeah. Canberra. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and someone cool. who was making jokes. Oh, no one's going to turn out there. Sell out. 13,000 fans. Suck it. Look like a lot of Hawthorne fans. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the GWS fans are actually louder than I thought they were. Uh, editorial Overlord Daniel Sankey was there with his wife, who was yeah. a Hawthorne fan. Editorial overlord. He's our editorial overlord. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be nice and depressing. He'll be thrilled because oh, yeah, Essendon have won by a point. He yeah. might be annoyed that they went to the wrong game. Actually, I need to text him. So, you keep going, Leo. You're the Hawthorne fan. You don't well, need to text him right. Yeah, I'm going to do it right. I'm thinking about it. G- GWS kicked seven goals in the last quarter to snatch victory. Yeah. That is obviously frustrating, but over the course of the game, they were the better side. Do you think? 100%. I, I think every time. 100%. I was a neutral fan in this one. I think. Every time the Hawks got it, they could just go through the middle so easily. Like D'Ambrosio kicking two early goals. D'Ambrosio was very good. That, um, Sam Mitchell said at half time was really that he was, like, he, he was worried at half time. He was, he was. He knew how the game was going. Yeah, look, 
the, to be honest, at halftime, it should have been even and Giants probably should have had the lead. Mm. They missed some easy shots, yeah. Um, and yeah, they they were the better side. Defensively in the last quarter, we were appalling. Yeah. Hogan Mark one on the line that should have been killed. Uh, and we just let them get the corridor way too easily. The overlap run was too good. Yep. Link up through handball. Yeah, we, we were all at sea defensively. Uh, yep. Very poor loss. And just, yeah, I'll get into a bit on Mitchell, but I think it was one of his worst coaching games. I've seen games. a lot of Hawthorne fans say that online today. Oh, okay. but he's given us a lot of good coaching He's given games. you – I think he's been pretty I'll good. I'll get into year. it in uh, a later segment. The other reason that the Giants were able to come back, I watched the end of this game, Brent Daniels, his last quarter was, was awesome. unbelievable. They put him in the middle. I didn't no, think yeah. he had – I knew he has – He's, he can get some clearances, but he had uh, 12 disposals, five score involvements, a goal, and it, I think it was like three or four clearances mm -hmm. in the last quarter. So putting him back in the middle and rather than playing like a small forward role was awesome by yeah. the Giants. Have you seen the uh, individual clearance numbers? So Newcomb was I was first. too busy watching Jesse Hogan just Newcomb, snag everything. Was <laughs> Newcomb awesome. was first with 11. Yep. And then the next like seven eight to eight players were all GWS. Yeah, that makes really? sense. Really? Yep. So that surprised surprising me because early on, Weddle was Will really Day got his ass tagged out of the game. Yeah, great. yeah, Bedford was great. Yeah, on, tag on, Will Day, he beat Hawthorne. I never, I never no, would have said. Proof's in the pudding. I could uh, obviously this year. Bedford's been a really good tagger. I, if you said Bedford would be a good tagger last yeah, year, last I would year. never. Have, he's not. Yeah, he's small. Yeah. He's like a small forward, and he's become a tagger. That's awesome. Because he's fast. He's built a tank. For he's him. got a tank. Yeah, I didn't know he had that in him. So, no, so no. is this where we say Sam Mitchell's lost it because he let Lockie Whitfield just do whatever Lockie Whitfield wanted to do? To be to fair, do. Lockie Whitfield wasn't that damaging. He had thirty-seven touches it. and seven hundred meters gained. To be honest, boy. I, I don't think I noticed. No, that's my point. He, he, I noticed. I was like, Lockie Whitfield's <laughs> taking ten grabs here. He's yeah. just, he's just every. I, I, I think we'll get into it more with old mate no mates, but I don't think Mitchell's lost it. I don't think that's the right word. Well, yeah, I, I think the I don't know. It was, maybe it was the experience and GWS were like at their best. We can we can beat them. Obviously, kicking seven goals and the tsunami didn't well, really GWS come until the last quarter. Better than Hawthorne. Yeah, I think overall they're better. So they, they just did one in the last quarter. Also, Jack Gunston not efficient enough. Five disposals, four goals. What are you doing? I wanted four disposals. <laughs> Did he get four, four in there? No, that's awesome. Yeah. Five yeah. kicks, yeah. four yeah. goals. Yeah. What are you doing with the other one, Jack? Seriously. <laughs> Wait, what, was it goal assist, goal. Well, it was a handball? Uh, no, five, five disposals, five kicks, one tackle. What are you doing? One tackle. Don't need a tackle, mate. Like You're kicking that. goals. Kicking goals. It doesn't matter. And then, uh, obviously, Jesse Hogan, how many did he end up on? Uh, so kick five. five. So he's kicked four, 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 five, and now he's back on top of the Coleman medal race. So that's awesome. <laughs> you, we, I said it. I think you said it earlier than me. So I'll yeah. give you that one. How are the fans feeling? GWS like this rules, same as last five year. Five in a row. They're flying. Yep. Yep. They're up and about. Hawks fans. Yeah, yeah. just a bit flat. Hawks fans kind of saw this one coming. Yeah. Look, it is. Fr it's frustrating because of the position we were in. Yep. To be up by twenty-eight points. Actually, on that twenty-eight points, I didn't say that's the biggest comeback. Yeah. In GWS history, which really surprised no, it's me. Biggest last quarter comeback. Oh. Last quarter, there you go. Yeah. Last quarter. So, yeah, it's frustrating to be in that position and lose, but mm. you, looking back throughout the course of the game, we got a lot of goals against the run of play. Yep. So they, they were the better team. Fair enough. Moving on to the MCG, yeah. Essendon. Holy moly, <laughs> Moses. 13 12 90 beat Fremantle, 14 5 89. So this really kills like the theory that I have because it only happens like once or twice a year. What's your theory? How do you win games of football stats go? Kick more goals than the other team. Or behind in this case. More goals. Yeah. For, so that's so it happens like once a year where the team that doesn't kick more oh, goals. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Didn't so even theory that. killed. Hate it. Don't like <laughs> it. Anyway, Essendon won. Who cares? Let's move on. <laughs> no, uh, no, Brisbane no, just been no, kidding. Uh, so where do we want to go with this? Because Essendon were doing what Essendon usually does, which is getting a crap ton of the ball, getting it inside 50, and being completely and utterly wasteful, and their forward line wasn't looking yep. great, except for Stringer. Because he's like, hey, he was efficient. I haven't as. signed my contract yet. Need to probably play a game in the back half of the season. Yeah, what did he get? Four Kicked goals. Four goals. Man. Yeah, he was really good. Uh, it's his best game for a while. Yeah, All right. for a, a long year, time. Probably, yeah. Fremantle's <laughs> transition running was fantastic. Mm. Like everywhere. Uh, I thought Hayden Young was great. Clark was fantastic. Brayshaw was really good. They, Brayshaw, they, they were showing on the, showing the stats. He's the best two-way midfielder in the comp yep. statistically. He's got yep. the most tackles to disposals like comp yep. combined. So he, he's awesome to watch, yeah. I just I'm still trying to get over how the fact Essendon won this anyway. Jay, like Jay yeah. Gresham pops up and kicks three. Darcy Parrish had 34 touches somehow back in it. Darcy uh, Parrish is soft and slow though. Oh my god, oh, he had a few chances. I didn't know there was. I thought they were going to lose because he had a chance early where he he just like oh I'm the only one in the MCG. I'm not going to get caught and he got caught. I, yeah, I think he's done. Even though he did have a lot of touches. Something. So there was a. Is this Sydney related? No, this okay. is in this game. No, no, no. It, just, it reminded me that it happened in the game he, when he said, I'm on my own in the MCG. I think it was Laverty. Oh, he had a stinker. No, no, yeah, no it wasn't this. He half. sort of jogged off, played on, got tackled, got slung to the ground, umpire holding the ball. Yeah. Umpire, 50 metres, like, dangerous. Nah, dangerous tackle. Mm. So Essendon get the free kick. So first of all, it was it was a dangerous tackle. It probably tackle. was just a dangerous it, it tackle. Was, yeah. No, he slung him to the ground. Yeah. But 
this is a problem for me where you've got one umpire going mm. holding the ball, mm. other one going dangerous tackle. <clears throat> is the umpire who's in charge of the play doing it, or is it what's considered the worst offence? Because It'd be the second if the one. umpires don't know what the hell's going on, how are you supposed to know what's going yeah, on? That's why it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, please tell me. It'd be the <laughs> second one, but I'm not a field umpire. I'm yeah. a boundary yeah. umpire. Yeah. Did the boundary umpires do anything wrong this weekend? Uh, oh, probably. They, I, <laughs> my hot take, we don't need boundary umpires. Oh, Get rid yeah. of it. Oh, AFLW's coming up soon. We don't need them in that, that's for sure. Makes the game go quicker. It's great. Yeah, I love it. That's true. Uh, so there was a smother. The, so in this game, Fremantle, four goals up with about 20 minutes to go. Yeah. And Essendon just run over the top of them. Midfield. Hit, hit the front. Killed it. But there was a smother. I don't know who was it was. It, is it Jake Kelly? It might have been, yeah. It, was it Frio shot on goal? Yeah, from like oh, the top of the yeah, goal Okay, there's Smothers, and then there's a Smother. No, he, <laughs> he kicked it into him. It he, wasn't a he Smother. He still put their hands out. It counts because it's with three minutes and 40 seconds to go. It was going to go through for goals. It was directly nah, in front. It was on the player, the Freo player. <laughs> no. I didn't say it. So I'm, I'm just in the middle. <laughs> yeah. of it. Uh, uh, Langford also buried some demons with his goal in the last quarter. Yeah, he hardly Woody, ever kicks goals in the last having, quarter. When he was having that shot, I was like, this could go anywhere. Drilled it right through the middle. Uh, but Essendon was just like, we're just going to run and we're going to try. Their midfield just dominated. Well, when the last they got quarter. in front, I caught the last 10 minutes. Yeah. They shut up shop. Oh, they, yeah. did, they, they did not want to score. No. And that's frustrating because when Hawthorne do that, they bloody concede five goals. <laughs> Essendon do it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, the Amos goal at the end was very clutch. Yeah, it was a good, good goal. Yeah. That was an awesome goal. That was a 45 goal. out, left foot. It just Never fades in, in beautifully. And then right. Essendon, uh, then we're going to touch on Darwin. center clearance. The last center clearance. What are Frio doing? Like they didn't defend at all. They just... They oh. left the whole side open. <laughs> I know. As soon as the ball went that way, I was like, oh, it's done. Yeah. If, if you oh follow Jeff God. White, as in former All Australian Ruckman, Jeff White used to play. Oh, yes. He does uh, clips on Twitter, right? He, About, he's yeah. just broken down that play. Okay. He's so very, very He's good. a great Twitter yeah, fan. Yeah, I have to have a watch of him. So I follow him. But then that play obviously ended up with Durham kicking the most Handy point. He just I love it. it when it was in the air. Esmeralda, like, yes, <laughs> we've won. It was so funny. It's always funny though when, when, when you see it go through the points and everyone's cheering because, like, obviously, I no one ever. I could not believe it. what Freo were doing in that center bounce. I, oh. It was just. I know they would, don't want to. Like, usually, they, I know they want to really win the game. Yeah. But the, I swear they all ran to the same <clears> spot. They did. And they left a massive side open. It's like they you were really, have at least someone really there. nervous, and they're like, "Oh crap, yeah. we've had a really bad last quarter." And. uh too good, Durham. Just with the uh, the match, the match winning point. How good six 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 though? Awesome. Yeah, six 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 makes that makes that happen. Fan yeah, bases, right. Essendon. Oh my god, we're back. We're <laughs> back. We're playing finals. Oh, shut up, Essendon fans. Shut I'm up. so annoyed with that. And I don't want to see Marcus this week. A <laughs> lot, of, a lot of Freo fans are like, oh, that's top four cooked. Yep. We're going to have to get Marcus back on time. Yeah, he should have gone his jersey. on. Yes, the... he stitch his jersey back together. Why am I on a Marcus? Isn't this team one? He'd bring energy. Because he's 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 technically he's not a part of the uh, AFL Today team. He no, just, he's, he's in, a ring. If you're on the show and you're in the office, you're in the team. Yeah. He's a fill in. Yeah, he's a fill in. Uh, so that's how the Just fan like Essendon's 2016 team. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> St. Kilda, five goals, 9.39. They kicked a goal 20 seconds to go to have the second lowest score of the weekend. Thanks. Yeah, uh, got that Sydney. <laughs> yeah, it got biased by three points. Uh, smashed by Brisbane, 19 10, 124. Uh, Lockie Neal absolutely killed it. He had 33 touches. He was everywhere. Wasn't sort of as no as noticeable as McCluggage, I thought. He's had 28 in a goal. <laughs> this was just Brisbane playing with their food. Like Cam Ryan are probably going to get three votes. Yeah, well, three goals been very and twenty-two good. touches. Cam Rayner the last month is has been awesome. It's, like it's finally it's clicked with finally him. Finally consistent. Like he usually has a patches of yeah. every three weeks, every four weeks. He's been so good, hasn't he? Rowan mm. Marshall did his all Australian cases no harm with uh, two goals, seventeen touches, eighteen hitouts. Joe Danaher <laughs> kicked four goals, three. He had an air shot at one point, so he probably could have kicked seven for all we That's know. That's a classic Joe. It's Danaher just an absolutely like, <laughs> like Zach Bailey three and twenty. This just goes you to show that St Kilda have been absolutely blown off the park. You're looking like at the disposals. It's like, oh, yeah, great. Jackson Clare has 30. The Poo had 24. The bits and pieces that I caught while we're getting ready for this, Philip Poo was like, there are signs of a very, very good player. Even when yeah, they get smashed, he play, he's been playing well. He's, he's so I'm very, Saints fans will be excited by him, but they're just worried about their depth and yeah. you shouldn't be getting smashed by that much. They only had two goals at three-quarter time. But like you look at it, Butler, Caminiti, Higgins have... 15 disposals and a goal between them. Mm. That just said Who that. Who said to trade Max King? It wasn't me. <laughs> this guy. I think it was me. Yeah, yeah. it was <laughs> you. I also believe it too. Anyway, like Tim Memory uh, 13 I don't know. I'm still 50 So, yeah, but, but this is just the St. Kilda life, life cycle at the moment is one week good, one week absolutely horrendous. I Sometimes it may be good. But Sometimes I, but I jokingly bad. said on the, th on the Thursday show, the previous show, I was like, oh, yeah, St. Kilda fans, like, you'll play awesome like you did against Essendon and you'll kick five goals this week. 
They've literally yeah, kicked. They five literally kicked five goals this week. <laughs> Probably should have bet on that. Yeah, <clears> maybe. <throat> oh, we got to talk about Brisbane as well. Though. I know Saints are and Saints are crap, but Brisbane are rolling. Are they the Premiership favourites right now? They teased us with an open room. <laughs> oh, you they tweeted that. out before the game. Welcome from Sunny Marvel with an open roof, <laughs> and then the roof was closed. <laughs> Why Brisbane Lions? We're friends on social media. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Oh, that was and funny. Jim. You love it. You you guys love an open roof. I couldn't give a crap if it's open or not. But it was roof. very uh, nice and sunny too. It was a great it was a day in Melbourne. Day. I very went for rare. a lovely walk to the markets to get nice. out of my hangover. It was fantastic. <laughs> he was like, I've got to stop thinking about Sydney. I need to go for a long no. walk. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I woke up. I, actually, so speaking of oh, that. Here's so, that pill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's was, put some context behind those pills. Oh, yeah, like 10-2 uh, <laughs> hangover pills. <laughs> oh, not a sponsor. Yeah. Not, sponsor, not a sponsor yet. The police sponsor is because Jim needs them. Uh, so stats go like, is there a point like as as a fan when, when because obviously My North being horrendous. Good. Yes, uh, yes. Is there point like you just, the losses, do they, are you just numb to it? Oh, I'm very numb. I, like someone that, I was, I was playing footy yesterday and they yeah. were like, oh, do you actually go to all the North games, Liam? I was like, yeah, I go to every single North game. Yeah. I'm like, do you put yourself through that? I do. It's like, but like I don't you, know. Still, you still support I'm a good team. supporter, but you st- yeah, it is, you do get numb. You're like, yeah. you're praying for honorable losses, which is just sad. But like, but but that's you, why I win but, yesterday. But you go game. to a game like, so say you're playing Brisbane, you go, go we're probably going to lose by 10 goals yeah. here. You got to, and, you if you lose by, and then if you lose by five, you're like, oh, yeah, that's good. But it's like, it doesn't, like, you know how some fans, like, it affects their week. Yes. When I, I know a lot of Carlton fans that they will, I won't even talk to like, them. This I had that Brisbane, when the Swans lost to Brisbane, I was filthy about it for three days. <laughs> yes. The Western Bulldogs won, I got through it with some self hatred, yep. like, that afternoon. <laughs> but the, this loss, this, so this is going into, like, how fan bases are feeling. And St. Kilda probably lived this <clears> lifestyle too. Yes. I've woken up this morning going, I don't care. That's just that's because you've had a good run with Sydney, and they're still first. But it's not yeah. a good run. But it's like not letting football take over your emotions, and that's probably an yeah, important. Tell that to people on Twitter. I, don't I, know. Like, <laughs> I think the, I think I'm still recovering the, from the Port loss. <laughs> yeah. Like that loss has done damage See, but to that me. One, those ones you're allowed for them to ruin your week. Yeah, the Collingwood wow. one actually had me for a whole week when we were up by. 50. I can never <laughs> trust us when we have like a six goal lead. Even like. The Collingwood win we had where we were up by 50 points. Yeah, you were not Like 10 minutes yeah. ago. I'm like, no, nah, it's still game on here. Yeah, it's, right. just, it's great awful. It's great betting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so fan base of feeling Brisbane is cool. Like, uh, Brisbane, I said that before. We didn't really touch on that. Are they the uh, yes. like favorites? Yeah, they have well, to be, right? Uh, by odds, week, not by, are they in the odds think, as well? I think $3. Not just odds. I'm saying in terms of what they you guys moved, think. They were favorite by about the five-minute mark of the second quarter. That is crazy because <laughs> their first half season was horrendous. Isn't it just going to be funny when they end up winning the flag and everyone at the start of the year, Tip Brisbane was like, I tip US. Damn it! <laughs> I had Brisbane second. I'm not going to lie. I watched that video the other day just to see what all of our tits were. And there's some horrendous ones, but there well, are some well, good ones. Some I can't ones. remember all of them. Port, he, had Port Adela- uh, he had Adelaide Crows top four. That was no, no, no. no. I'm just, uh, that was that one. I'm talking about the one around the office. I said uh, I said um, Richmond would finish below North. The other, it, yeah. I'm very happy. I've got to clip that yeah. one up, actually. So the one I've nailed is D's to miss the top eight. We'll yeah, to, we the one I have it now was I think Freo can win, win seven games. Ooh, after round well, 20. They, they did win seven games. I, no, I said maximum seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we should do We could do a midweek manish, I reckon. Oh, we'll just review. Round 24, yeah. review a few I'll things. Like, we'll so, review yeah. our over-unders. Be good fun. Because like, somehow we're going to get this Brisbane over-under home. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. With three games to go. So oh. moving on, uh, St Kilda fan base is like, yeah, this is the life of a St Kilda fan. Yeah, they literally left at halftime. I saw a lot of them at the station. Yep. Not happy. Yeah, so that uh, they had to get home early to iron their shirts for the next one. It's fine. They're, get, they're getting head start on the chores. Tipping fine. results. I think I got four or five. Oh, I no. Six. I got six uh, as so well. So I changed my tip, not in this, but in my tipping competition from Sydney to Port Adelaide when I saw Luke Parker was sub. Literally that really? tipped me over oh, there. Oh, yeah, Marty out as well, man. No, Luke mm-hmm. Parker is sub. Just tipped me over there. there. You go. I saw Laddins was like, this sucks. Uh, <laughs> stats guy, six. Uh, Leo, Leo, six. six. Well, yep. No idea how many Marcus got. Uh, uh, I think he got six as well. Good for Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> Full credit to the boys. Best team of the round. It's pretty easy. It's Port Adelaide. I I'm, think it has to be Port Adelaide. I've gone the dogs. Why have you gone the dogs? Because uh, we can have a clean sweep. <laughs> yeah, I, I went for something different. Probably was Port, but I, I saw... Actually, I didn't see any of the dogs game. <laughs> <laughs> but they look good. They look good. <laughs> they look good on paper. I watched good. the highlights. Yeah. I watched the highlights. They look good. No, the power for me, I just remember looking at the scores and going, how the... The fact that they got up 70 to 0. 71 to 0. 71 to 0. Get it right. Come on. 71 to 0 yeah. is more impressive. Didn't, than, live, didn't live through it. <laughs> no, 71 to 0 is more impressive than the fact that they won by 112. They just didn't give you, you an inch at all, this one. So I think they've got to be the best team in the round. Yeah. yeah. It's great. And they're back. Ken is a god of uh, of Adelaide again. Alberton. <laughs> I saw someone on Twitter go, yeah, cop that, Brody Grundy. That's what you get for not coming to Alberton and getting to live on Bondi and walking your I'd dog. I'd definitely rather live and, in Sydney and it's than just Alberton. Like, 
Got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brody Grundy this morning woke up in Bondi and got to walk along the beach. Yeah. I think, I think he's happy. I think he feels horrendous about not living in Adelaide. <laughs> to be fair, Adelaide was, yeah, he, he gets to go to Gather Round. Yeah, but the thing is, he's a, a hipster who lives in Sydney who can just cruise yeah. around. He doesn't give me alone. Adelaide vibes, no. <laughs> no. He's a hipster. <laughs> Best on ground of the week is Jesse Hogan. Five goals, yeah, 11 good. marks, six of them contested, getting the job done against Hawthorne Very by good. two points. He yep. did get three or four of those marks in the last 10 seconds. Did you? No, no, no. no. I, yeah, yeah, but six contested yeah. marks. No, no, so if I you had Jesse Hogan for 15 plus touches, he got three junk in the last yeah, 30 seconds. Did. Well done. Perfect. Yeah, we got our matchup wrong against him. You did. I'll, I'll touch on again with the Sam Mitchell. Okay. Up, but... uh, my best on ground, Aldo you. I have issues with this. Because he was he turned he the over a lot. He butchered the ball a lot. But he kicked three goals. Like LDU is the most overrated player. Oh, you did not. You literally did not. You, last I, week you were talking about. I watched the game live. So he, he turned it over a lot. He gave up an easy goal to Richmond. And then he wins a center clearance, kicks a goal. Yeah, well done. Good zero point play, LDU. Okay, give me. He got one good center <laughs> clearance goal. That was good. His ah. set shot came off his bloody bicep. Yeah, but wait, wait, he wait, that, that was pretty bad. But. Did it go through the middle? And what does it say on the, what does it say on the score sheet? <laughs> One goal, six points. He was Matt. not in your best six players. players. I think he was because he hit the scoreboard. No. If your midfielder hits the scoreboard with three goals, that's the, I think that's the difference. I think that is unbelievable. And I had to put him in my in my best. No, I disagree. <laughs> that's all right. He did, he, he did have a lot of turnovers. He, he was not in your best six players. I'm just surprised that this year he's been hitting the scoreboard a little bit more. So I had to put him in my best on ground. Hate but it. shout out to Bont. Bont. Bont uh, and Pally. Bont was probably the best overall. Yeah, 30. 32 disposals, did we say? 16 score involvements, two goals, a buttload of ranking points. 182 super, super coach. Yeah, they are. Crazy. Go. Well, they, they are the ranking points. Uh, yeah, no, ranking. I don't know. I think on the TV they show no, the ranking points exactly. as AFL fans. But anyway. No, I don't think they do. Stuff okay, okay. It. That's right. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. Alex <laughs> hasn't said anything <laughs> in five minutes. Alex is. You two are just bickering. <laughs> I'm begging. I'm angry. You can't <laughs> tell he's over it. I might have to fight you. He didn't play a great game, I don't think. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, mate, no, mates. The quite obvious one is Mitch McGovern. Yes, that was obvious. <laughs> but it's also but not it, his fault. It wasn't his fault. It's yeah. not his fault that Carlton lost the game, but it's very easy to just go. He actually played like a decent game like, overall. But it's also like, mate, you had one job, kick the ball straight. And like, yeah. he didn't even get a point. At least get it on like target, he did, like, he kicked If it, he kicks a point, you're like, the wrong oh, direction. Yeah. I suppose if you're going to miss, miss that bad. It kind of looked like so he was you're, aiming for this. So you would never a chance. Like the people in the crowd. Maybe he was concussed. He's like, all right, the goals are over there. <laughs> <laughs> he was seeing two goals. The, the umpires had to wind him up like, nah, mate, nah, mate. I want to see the zoom in of the crowd when the ball goes into the crowd because they would just been looking towards the goals. They wouldn't have even expected the ball goal. I reckon they would have got hit there. Yeah. No, you're doing the track. It's like we watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a, a tracker on that. Uh, it literally just went. Yeah, like cri Crips 20 meters out is like. Where's the ball? The ball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, for me, it's Peter Laddams. You get caught up into a game, first game that you've played all year. It'll be the last game you play. When you drop chess marks like you've never played a game of football before, this, your Swans teammates in the end going, mate, like, really? Who are you again? Like, yeah, who are you? <laughs> Back to the VFL. Get stuffed. <laughs> Stats guy. Uh, just the whole of the Suns. Dimmer, yeah. Jack Lukosius, Matt Rowe. Uh, <laughs> name them all. Duke Bill, I was going to name them all. I could literally name the all The high performance. They are a joke. Flanders had one touch in the last one. Flanders quarter. had one. Oh, did he still get over 100 super coaches? I don't think he did, actually. Because he's, oh, he's got sure. over 100 every I week. I didn't check my advice. But just the Suns. All my nomads. They're coming back on the bus. Dimmer's like, come on, boys. Why well, yeah. can't we win, it, win, it, win away from home? It's just... Everyone's sad. All the Sun supporters are just like, why do we keep doing this? So this definition of old mate nomads. It's just everyone, yeah. they'll just be all sad together on the bus. So yeah, a bit sad for being a Suns fan at the moment. Yeah, well, well, I've gone with Sam Mitchell. I think this oh. was one of his poorly coached games. He's, why is he's, that? he's out coached a lot of coaches in recent weeks as well. He he got beaten by what what we know. Jesse Hogan taking marks. Yeah, matchup was wrong. We had Weddle on him. Weddle had a great he game. He had a great he game. He had a great right game. Half back, yep. Frost needed to be on him more. Okay. And Scrimshaw at the start was actually on Hogan. Gave him way too much room mm. to move. He, Hogan probably should have had three first quarter goals. He, kicked he missed one a goal couple, yeah. Yep. And then the Lockie Whitfield, I didn't really notice him, but we definitely did not have a matchup for him. And it was just frustrating because the way Giants play, we know, like they're going to link up, handball through the middle. That's all they did in the last quarter. Yep. Didn't cover it. Bloody all. stop it. We I did know. not cover it. We had no one guarding the corridor. He was too attacking in that last quarter. Like, no, I don't like, even think it was that. I just reckon it was just the lack of just intensity mm -hmm. to want to be there and, and get the job done. Fair enough. I thought he was out coached. Might be a bit stiff because he's had many weeks where he's been one of the best coaches. But, yeah, but this week he wasn't. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Cool. There you go. What I can't stand. This is a usual topic for me. <laughs> I feel like this is every week. The fixture. <laughs> I don't go. know why. Okay, so this one, this is the more most egregious one. Because okay. I know we had the the Carlton Collingwood and Port Adelaide Sydney. They last knew night. it was going to be a smashing. <laughs> Nailed it. This Saturday night. We're back. We're going next week already. <laughs> Seven thirty p.m. Melbourne play Port Adelaide. Two kicks away at 
the MCG. Yes. Yeah. At the exact that. same time, for some ungodly reason, there is a game at Marvel Stadium on. Okay, that's that's very dumb. Two yeah. games in Melbourne. Two games in Melbourne, three kilometers apart, starting at the exact same time. If it was 4.40, 7.30, get it. 1 o'clock, 4.40, get it. 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock, get it. <laughs> exact same time makes no sense. It actually dilutes the product. Because 100%. there could be people in Melbourne like, hey, I'm an Essendon fan, but I'm also MCC. I could just I've go got, to the footy. I've got Essendon mates that, so I'm going to the Melbourne Port game, but they're not, I've got mates that don't want to go to that game because Essendon are playing at the same time. So they've literally just cost themselves some supporters some money over the weekend mm. for people that would go to two games. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's what Very I mean. dumb. Having very dumb. at the same time, some people like to do the double header. You've been known to do that before. Yes. I think it's ridiculous. But anyway, what what does it matter? I mean, it's not <laughs> as if we have a floating fixture that, you know, you, you can avoid these things. Oh my God. They, they're shambles, AFL. They, they showed it this weekend, then they're showing it again next weekend. What are they doing? I reckon the AFL should just stop tomorrow. Let's end the season. They don't have <laughs> Let's to avoid the season. I've had enough. No, I've had enough. They don't have the round 23. That's, that's good 24. Spirit on the yeah. AFL today. We don't have a round 24 <laughs> fixture yet. So I guys, know, next week you're going to be like, footy's gone. <laughs> no, I, I reckon we still do the AFL Today Show. We do it daily without any <laughs> AFL. The problem That's is, the so here's an issue starts going. Our media accreditation hasn't turned up yet. So maybe we need to start AFL being being positive about the AFL. I'm always positive about the AFL. I've never said anything bad about them. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Gerald, dig something up. Yeah, yeah. Maya can't stand. Uh, players kicking around the corner. Snaps from goal. Right in front of goal. Yeah. Happened a couple of times. There was a couple of GWS players. I think it was Daniels did one. Uh, a few others. Just kick a drop punt. I think you talked about this earlier in the season when Charlie, Charlie's charlie been doing it a lot lately. I just can't stand it. It's not that hard. You're an AFL player. That Jace Bergwin did it from like 20 Bergwin. years oh, out. That was the, the yes, score yes. of you. Also, it hit the post. What are you doing reviewing it? Everyone could see that. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Yeah, that, oh, that, I didn't have to say oh, much The more. score reviews in the North game, by the way. Was, that's what I can't stand. There I, you I, go. I well, well you can say that. You there were just that. some ridiculous ones. Everyone in the crowd could tell, could tell yeah. what was going on. And the goal umpire was there like, oh, I think it might have been a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job, mate. <laughs> mate like, the come go, on. The goal umpires have lost all confidence. They have. They're shameless. Super coach Wash, it's all about the bunt. He scored 182. Who didn't captain or vice captain oh, him? Oh, damn it. Yeah, good. Damn oh, it, damn it, damn it. Yeah. I captain Sheasel 105. I vice captain Sheasel 105. So I was like, stuff it. I'm going to captain Sarong 102. Oh, yeah. so you've cost yourself. I vice captain points. Flanders. He got 91. Yeah. Well, who's your captain? Sheasel. He got oh. 200. It's uh, not too bad. Uh, but... Sherry 144. Tom Green 119. Rosie 108. Errol 109. Sam Walsh 108. Dawson 98. Back in the form. Jai Caldwell. Whitfield 152. I was happy with that. End result. Other end of the spectrum. Charlie Kerno, 33. Well, I'm so glad I didn't bring him in. Everyone was saying it's Supercoach should bring him in about a month ago. He's been very Charlie Compton, down. 107, by the way. He's been a great pickup for He's someone been really like me. He looked really proppy, mm. by the way. Yeah, he did. Mm. He did. Mm. That's about it. There you go. Yeah, we're so, good. What right. a show. Cool. What a Please. weekend. Good show. That's it. We're done. We'll be back on Wednesday. Jim will be back on Wednesday, I believe. We're going to hit up Callum Dick from uh, the Curry Mail. Yep. Brisbane are flying. Gold Coast, not so much. Get him back on the show just for the rotation of journalists that we have on the show. Uh, so, Leo, you'll be subbed out for this uh, yeah, Wednesday. That's fine. So He's had a good run. You've had five I'm in like a row. six in a row. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're stuff. exhausted. I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Who not am I? Your job. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Uh, Stats guy, good stuff. You're up and about. Thank you. Moment. Go north. We have a lot going on at the moment here, don't we? We do, Stats yeah. Guy. We have some AFLW, ex- yeah. exciting stuff, as Stats guy said, coming up on AFLW Let's today. Go. So, do you know what the social posts are, the tags are? Is it just a- a- AFLW today, I believe. AFL- Olivia today. has made the, the social channels though. So. so if you just look up AFLW today on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X, they'll all be there for you. They're up and alive right now. Get around it like, I don't know. Oh, let's say. A goal Sh- umpire getting around a score review. I was going to say <laughs> Sean Bergwijn with a clutch center clearance. That's way more fun. Yeah. That is fun. That is so <laughs> Especially more fun. as a Hawks fan. But also make sure you check out AFL today because it's us. We're awesome. We love what we're doing here. <laughs> Cricket today with all the boys going through. Yes. Exciting summer coming up. Football today, which will be a dream team show coming up Ooh. this year. Bit of fantasy. NBA Australia, NFL Australia. Hold on tickets still on hiatus, but check out punters.com.au because we've got a bunch of stuff going up there. We have a new starter tomorrow. Oh. Xavier Pegum joins the oh, team. I love that guy. So he'll be doing videos from next Thursday because Lambie's on a three-week, three-month holiday. So nice. Good stuff, Xavier. I'm giving you a heads up as long as you've watched this video. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. We'll catch you later on this week. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank you, Leo. Thank Shout you. out to Gerald behind the camera for all the work he does. We'll catch you later on in the week for more AFL today. Till then, look after yourselves. And remember, footy's back! If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.